there you guys i'm teddy from bijuteo beading with this beautiful christmas tutorial for crystal snowflakes earrings they are really fine and dainty and i think they will make a good christmas present for your friends so now if you want to support me and see more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit that bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and i'll answer to all of your questions down there in the comments and if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations you could also check my store where you could find inspiration and express yourself better. There also are good ideas for present for your bidding friends. And when you buy stuff from there, you support me, my channel and my mission. You will find links here at the icon and down there in description. And I also have free USA delivery code. So now I'm going to start with the list of the material. Okay guys, so here is what I use for these earrings. I use Bicons or Swarovski crystals or other brand, whatever you have. They are 3 millimeters, and I use 12 of them for one earring. I also use 11 OC beads, 8 O beads, and here I use ear wires that in this case are liver bags, but you could use any type you want, and I use two jump rings this is my monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters you could use fire line or other beading thread of your choice and here i use size 10 beading needle and i squeeze my monofilament with my pliers to go through size 10 beading needle and i also use these pliers to attach my ear wires to my work and here i use scissors so now i'm going to take half an arm span of thread on my needle and i'll be back okay guys and i'm back and what i'm going to do here is take six of these beautiful crystals and i'm going to slide them down almost at the end of my thread and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making a knot by making a loop and going one, once, twice or even three times through the loop I've made and I'm pulling and when I pull I have this beautiful circle of beads here okay then what I do is that I go through my next bead through my next bicon or crystal okay then I take one seed bead okay I'm going here one more going in my next and I will do this until, until the end of my work Okay guys, now I'm going to pull and now it's time for my next step where I will add two beads. Okay, I have two silvers and as I'm exiting from this silver, I'm going back in circle through the same silver by adding two beads. Okay, this is what I do. Then I'm going through the following crystal and if you can exit in your next seed bead in one movement you could do it in two movements if you can do this at once okay and now i have two beads going back in circle like this then go through the crystal and through the following seed bead okay this is in two movements okay but you will save time if you do it in one movement okay take two and go here like that pull 
and I'm going to do this three more times. Okay, now I have this and in my next step I'm going to add my next row of crystals and in order to do this I'm going here through this silver one. I'm taking one crystal like this and I'm going here in my next seed bit and I pull then I will go through this seed bit here and in my next seed bit in that direction pointing outside then I will take one more go here inside this seed bit pull go in the next one if it's hard for you you could use your pliers to do this okay then go in this one, take one more, go here, in the next one, okay, here now, and I will do this until the end of this row, it means three more times. Okay, now this is what I have and what I want to do in my next step is that I will go through one of my crystals at the edge, through the closest one and now what I want to do is add one seed bead, one ato and one seed bead. Okay, this is what I have and I'm going through the following crystal. And then again, one seed bit, one ato, one seed bit. Go here. Seed bit, ato, seed bit. And I'm going to continue this. Okay guys, now this is what I have. Now, what I want to do is go here through this seed bead and through this ato. And I'm going to take three 11 on seed beads. And as I'm exiting from this ato, I will go back in circle. Okay. Now this is what I have, then I will go through my next seed bead, my crystal, my next seed bead and exit out of the next ato. Okay, this is what I have and I will repeat my previous step which was to add three seed beads. Oops, here are four, I need three. Okay, I'm going through this one and if you can, in one movement, go out here of the next ato and pull. Okay. 
Now what I want to do is take three eleven holes and go here through the A2 and through the following four beads exiting out of the next A2. Then I will do this again. Okay, three. Go here and exit out of the next one. And here again, three beads. Here they are. Go here in circle. And here I am at my last step. And here I will add one eleven o, one eight o, and one more eleven o. This is what I do differently here, because here I will attach my ear wire. Okay, this is the only reason that I add eight o in the middle. And now, what I want to do is go around in circle, reinforcing my work. Don't pull too tight, don't make it bent, okay? And now what I want to do is exit here again. I will reinforce this part here one more time because here I will attach my ear wire and I want this to stay firm. Okay. And then, guys, what I want to do is make some knots and cut my thread. And in order to make my knot, I will choose a place, let's say here between those two beads. I will make a loop, go twice through the loop I've made, and I will pull. Then what I do is that I go through the next seed bead. I could cut my thread or I could make more knots. Okay, let's say I'm cutting my thread now. If you want, you could make your work even more secure and here I will cut also my tail thread and now I will continue by adding my ear wire okay I will need my pliers and what I do is that I take my jump ring I will open this one okay then you could attach it here in the A toe because you see here everywhere I have 11 nodes and here on the top I have A toe because I want to put my jump ring inside it okay now I will put my ear wire and what I do is that I squeeze back my work okay guys now my earring is ready. Okay guys, and now my crystal sand seed beads earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. In this way, you will know when I release matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets. So it's a good idea to, to hit that bell. And if you want to support me, you could also like, share and comment. And I promise I'll answer to all of your questions down there in the comments. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also check my store. When you buy stuff from there, you support me, my channel and my mission. You could find links down there in the description and here at the eye icon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye from me.